how not to be scam no so uh yung yung terminology na scam this is loosely used by people no so maraming criteria yung pag pagka na scam ka so not necessarily just na loko ka na scam ka so normally it has you know something to do with uh na loko ka plus may perang uh, perang involved and then uh, ang laki-laki ng marketing strategies nila and uh talagang deliberate yung pandodopo na gagawin sa iyo no uh merong ibang agencies na tinatamaan ng mga changes that they're not aware of but you cannot say that that's scamming no? mainly because uh nagkamali or hindi na ganoon yung sistema so that's why it's important yung updated knowledge okay so saan ba dapat pumunta no okay so sino ba yung dapat i-approach nyo if you are making an application for student visa or if you're not making an application for student visa sino yung uh, kung nagpaplano pa lang kayo no sino ba yung mga taong dapat na pupuntahan nyo to give you the proper advice okay one is a qualified education agent yung tinatawag natin na QEAC Okay, so kapag if you're dealing with any education agency or consultancy agency in the Philippines dealing with Australian immigration law or educational system, you will have to ask, do you have the QEAC number? Are you a QEAC uh, qualified? Why? Because they are giving advice on the Australian qualification framework on the uh, courses available in Australia. So they need to know the foundation. Imagine one person giving advice without any knowledge about Australian qualification framework. At kung sakaling tatanungin nyo sila, ano ba yung difference ng certificate sa graduate certificate? Okay? That's a big thing because, because magkaiba yun, no? And kung hindi yan QEAC, hindi ka masasagot o hindi ka mabibigyan ng tamang sagot. No? And also, ano ba yung mga iskwelahan na merong rating, merong mga level at bakit merong levels or ratings ang bawat iskwelahan? No? Importante yon. So, Q- QEAC, you have to ask. Huwag kayong mahihiyang magtanong kung kausap niyo sila. Kahit na gano'ng kadaldal, magtanong kayo. Tanungin nyo, meron po bang merong QEAC number dito? No? Kasi, ibig sabihin, meron silang knowledge sa pagbibigay ng advice sa inyo about the educational system in Australia. Okay? Now, also, another person that you can approach is registered migration agent. Okay? Because registered migration agents are also trained uh, to actually give an advice to you when it comes to visa subclasses and when it comes to those courses that has a TR or even the TR, the Temporary Graduate Visa Pathways. Okay? And most of the uh, registered migration agents are trained with the uh, Australian Qualification Framework. Okay? They may not be a QEAC uh, a qualified consultant in terms of education uh, system in Australia, but if they are a registered migration agent, they know what courses to advise to you. Now, most of the consultancy agencies in the in Australia, they also have an in-house QEAC or one of the employees or one of the staff or two of their staff will have the QEAC because that's a qualification because that makes you you know credible when it comes to giving advice okay so i am a QEAC um qualified pero tinanggal ko na yan sa qualification ko kasi tagal-tagal na noon so i'm okay um to give uh, education advice we also have two uh, QEAC uh, qualified dito sa Auspac Visa. Okay? Ang pangalan po namin, incidentally, is Auspac Visa. Okay? Meron kasi isang agency, Auspac, yung pangalan nila. And di nahanap ako doon. Wala po ako doon. Nasa Auspac Visa po ako. Uh, kaya sabi nila, ma'am, nasaan na kayo? Ba't no, hindi na daw kayo nagtatrabaho doon? Or you're no longer working for them? I never work for any company 
except for Auspac Visa. Because yung Auspac, they're claiming that I've worked there and I no longer work for them. I never worked for anyone. I work for myself. Uh, I work for Auspac Visa. Okay. Now, okay. So, who to approach one QEAC um, consultant? So, Qualified Education Australian Counselor or Agent Counselor, and then RMA. And then the next one is, of course, the uh, immigration lawyers or migration lawyers. So, ayun, alam din nila yon, no? Pero wag masyadong pakatiwala ah, sa mga immigration lawyers kasi kapag ka immigration lawyers sila, they're handling complex cases, no? Not necessarily ano yung mga course na kukunin niyo o yung yung eskwelahan na ganyan, no? So siguro kung if you are approaching an immigration law firm and you want to apply for student visa, maybe you can ask whether they do have a QEAC qualified so that at least alam mo na alam nila yung sistema sa pag apply ng student visa sa mga eskwelahan, pag apply sa mga eskwelahan for admission, and then pag apply ng student visa sa immigration. Okay?